Welcome back to Gaming with Gusto. I am your host, Gusto T. I want to present another episode in the Versus series where I take two Pokemon products and put them head to head and see well, which one you think is better. I try to pick uh, products that are uh, very similar so you can compare and uh, make up your own mind. And this week, it's going to be an Ultra Prism 3-pack with a coin and an Alolan Vulpix promo versus three random breakpoint packs. Now, I was hesitant at first to do a challenge with just three regular packs uh, because there's no holofoil promo or coin or anything like that that you can get from those packs. These are also in uh, full disclosure these are packs that I found in the drop box at Toys R Us or uh, not Toys R Us at Target. These were $3.49 each or just a little bit cheaper than the uh, sleeved boosters. They're from uh, the company that supplies the Pokemon cards and I hadn't seen Breakpoint out there a lot lately, so I picked them up. So we're going to do a challenge. Breakpoint versus Ultra Prism. And you are going to decide who wins. So let's get into it. Okay. Here's the Vulpix. The yellow one Vulpix. Very cute card. And there's our sparkly coin. Alright, I'm going to start with the Ultra Prism packs. We start out with Fighting Energy, a Drift Boom, Order Pad, Fire Memory, Morlul, Cosmo G, Execute, Licky Tongue, Buizel, a Salandit Reverse, and a Dark Wings Necrozma GX. Wow. I just love how that card looks. Ultra Prism, starting out hot. Ultra Prism, pack number two. We have a Fairy Energy, Manaphy, Lopunny, Mars, Murkrow, Magnemite, Snover, Glamyow, Drifloon, a Giratina Prism. Nice. Wow, what a beautiful card. Wow. That's uh, a pretty nice card, too. Quite a follow up. Uh, Breakpoint's really going to have to swing for the fences to win this one. Check it out. Wow. Okay. A 
last pack. Steel Energy, Yan Mega, Looker, Electric Memory, Chimchar, Passimian, Buneary, Carnivine, Sneasel, a Reverse Buizel, and an Alolan Executor. All right. So our Ultra Prism three pack is finished. All right, now we're going to get into the breakpoint. Palpitoad, Arcanine, Puzzle of Time, Skrelp, Petalil, Froakie, Electabuzz, Pharaoh Seed, a Lilligant Reverse, and a Manaphy EX. Okay, okay. Are these breakpoints going to uh, surprise me? We'll see. Uh, the Lilligant is a reverse hollow rare, so I'm going to leave that right there in front of the Manaphy EX. Our second breakpoint pack. A Purugly, Slowbro, Stantler, Gibble, Phantom, Glamyow, Honage, Ducklet, a Dublade, Reverse, and a Luxray, non hollow rare. All right. Breakpoint is going to need a strong comeback in this last pack. Some last pack magic for Breakpoint. In my opinion, it's going to need last pack magic to win over that Ultra Prism 3 pack. Stranger things have happened. Tierno. Cloister. Cricketoon. A Ducklet, Shinx, Numel, Blitzel, Staryu, a Gibble Reverse, and Hypno. That, uh, folks, was Alexa. She wanted to uh, make an appearance in the video, so shout out to her. Now... Let's take a look. The Alolan Vulpix was the promo in the Ultra Prism 3 pack. Now, the Dawn Wings Necrozma GX, the Unit Energy uh, Secret Rare, and the Giratina Prism were all pack hits. The Manaphy EX and the Lilligant Reverse Hollow Rare were the only uh, rare hits as far as hollows. So let me know in the comments, who do you think won? Was it the Ultra Prism 3 pack on the left? Was it the Breakpoint 3 random packs that I picked up on the right? I know what I think. I'd probably lean toward the Ultra Prism because those are some heavy hitters right there. But we all have an opinion. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Come back next time for my next wonderful video. I am Gusto T. This is Gaming with Gusto. Peace.